Hey guys, this is your boy Tony Solo here from The Natural Lifestyles. And like I said, I'll be giving out one video a week for this week, the week after, and then the week after. Well, actually that one week after, in the first week of January, I won't be giving out any videos at all. And then this starting, this whole coming new year, I will be giving out five videos a week during the weeks that I'm not doing workshop and then four videos a week during the week that I am doing workshop. So I'll be giving out a lot because of course I have my product coming out in May. And I think it's at the end of May or at the beginning of May. And that product will be showing you guys everything from um, what to do when you see a woman on the street, taking her home, many exercises in there on learning how to be a masculine man and so on and so forth. So stay tuned for that. But for now, I just want to tell you guys that you have two, really two choices in life as a man. And this is what I believe. If you want to be an attractive man, you have literally these two choices. Be masculine or be too nice. And as you have these two choices in life, they're really going to show you how success, successful you're going to be with women. Many times, guys, they want to be so, succe they want to be so successful with women. Forgive me because I'm tired and, and it was kind of cold. I'm just really tired. They want to be so successful with women, but at the same time, they're really, really, really fucking nice. Like super nice, too nice. So nice that it's repulsive. So nice that they're repulsed by their own nice behaviors. And then you have other men who are, the, you know, the small amount of men out there who are quite masculine. And then you have the guys who are in between who have some nice guy tendencies and then they have some masculine things about them that are pretty okay. And when I see guys out there in the world, I'm always looking at them and I'm seeing that, okay, I know this guy could be much more than he is, but it's just that he's afraid. And that is really what determines a man who's masculine versus a man who's too nice. It's just, what is their relationship to fear? A man who's really, really masculine, his relationship to fear is very, very good. That means like he has a marriage with fear. He makes love to fear. He allows fear to be with him. He walks alone with fear. A man who's really, really too nice, fear is his Achilles heel. He hates fear. He does whatever he can in his life to get away from fear. And the fact of him doing that, he always manifests situations that make him fearful. So the relationship to fear will let you know exactly if you're a guy who's too nice or you're a guy that's masculine. And I think that the majority of the guys, I believe, they are somewhere in the middle. This is what I believe. So the majority of the guys are somewhere in the middle and you have like some guys who are this way and you have a very small amount of guys who are this way. I believe the middle has the most of guys and then you have guys who are so nice where it's like, oh my God, why are you like that, bro? You need to get help. And you have guys who are like, man, you fucking got it, bro. You did. You did the work. You fucking got it. Or in some way, you had a good father who showed you. Really good. And as a man is walking down his journey, he'll start to understand that if he is able to come to terms with his own fears, immediately he moved from this place and this place over to being masculine. Immediately. And like I said in my immature versus mature, uh, mature masculine men video, the number one way for you to be able to go into uh, embodying the masculine energy is really being able to allow yourself to be nothingness on the inside. Your ability to be present to life, to be present to your changing emotions, to be present to women. This is going to allow you to understand, okay, what is my ability to embrace and give out masculine energy? And when you're talking to women, women are very acute in seeing this. Women are so acute in seeing this because they're so used to seeing the middle man who has some masculine things, but he's really nice in some ways. Or they're really used to seeing the fucking guy who's really too nice. And they get really, really disgusted by him because he's full of ambiguity. He's full of um, no self-trust. He's completely um, not confident in himself. And she doesn't feel safe around him. She doesn't feel like he, she can trust him because he's not grounded in anything. He's grounded in his leafy sensations that he feels that's taking him from place to place. And then the guy in the middle, she's used to dealing with him in a sense of, okay, he can maybe talk to her. He can maybe say, you know what, hey, you want to go to the bar and get a drink? Or he's able to talk to her in some way and kind of give a hint like, hey, you know, me and my friends are going out this weekend. You want to come along, tag along? He's able to in some kind of way do that. 
but he's not really and he's not really saying to the woman I think you look amazing or he's not saying to her let's get a drink tonight because I want to get to know you more he's not saying that to her and she's not used to that so she gets kind of accustomed to dealing with these middle men that's why the guys who get in the community when they start walking up to girls and they start giving them these very masculine behaviors where uh, they're being very direct they are being completely truthful they are grounded in the moment and completely present to the woman this is why sometimes she's so thrown off by that because she's not used to that she's used to dealing with a man who has some ambiguity and he has some masculinity in him that's what she's used to dealing with but she's not so used to dealing with this man and I would say for any guy out there I know you want to move towards masculine and the way you're gonna be able to move towards having be, uh, masculine behaviors with women is really just understanding that the more and more that you're able to let go of these things that make you fearful, the more you're going to be able to be a man that's leaning towards being masculine. Masculine is really, in all of its essence, nothingness. It's really present to this moment right now. And the more that you can learn to just do that, you're gonna, that's going to help you even more to just lean towards that. Then, of course, these other things are going to help you is being clear. And clarity itself comes from truth. So a man that is able to embody truth and speak truth and live truth through his actions, that is going to be a man who a woman is going to be able to be attracted to because she can feel safe around him because truth grounds a woman. And as you're in front of a woman and you're talking to her, um, the thing that she's going to love most when she's in front of you is your ability to remain clear with her. Because clarity allows her to be clear on the inside as well. Because you gotta, you gotta remember this. <clears throat> Women are thriving on your direction in a, in a conversation. And if she feels that you're giving her clear direction in the way that you're presenting yourself, you're giving her clear direction on where you wanna go with what you're, what you're doing with her, she's gonna feel more apt to, she's gonna want to more do what you say, really. Because she can feel that what's underneath that is really what you want. And she can trust the man who knows what he wants. She can trust the man who's truthful in what he says because truth literally comes from the present moment. It literally comes from a part of yourself that is completely like, this is who I am. And women are always saying, I want to meet a guy who's completely himself. And many guys, they're not speaking the truth, so she can never really meet many guys who are themselves because most guys don't speak the truth. So, in a nutshell, you learning just how to speak truth would immediately take you over to the masculine side because as I say the masculine is stillness itself so as you move into stillness itself stillness is also this moment and this moment is truth truth lives in the present moment all these things go hand in hand the moment that you can learn that these things go hand in hand you'll start to see why do I keep saying these things over and over and over and I just put them in different videos but they all tie together. And as you learn how to speak truth over and over and over, you start to build strength on the inside. Now you have the strength to start to withstand situations that you couldn't withstand anymore. This is where you start to build on the inside of yourself the ability to sit in the tension of situations that fucking scare you. Now you're starting to build that muscle in yourself. Being a masculine man versus being too nice is really many times learning how to sit in tension. Learning how to be a man that can say no. Learning how to speak the truth. Learning how to live the truth of what he is uh, meaning to live in the moment. Learning how to completely be okay with the fact that he doesn't know in this moment and he's clear about that. Why are you so afraid of being so clear about this thing and that thing. Your fear is the thing that's gonna eat you up the most. It's gonna eat you up the most. The thing that I think that eats any man up on this earth the most is his relationship to his own fears. And I'll completely uh, reiterate these things because I want you guys to really sink into these concepts because these concepts are the things that's gonna be able to let you understand what I'm talking about over and over and over. Masculine, be masculine, or be too nice. Be completely afraid and never come into terms with the things that you know that you uh, should come to terms with and that you should start to move towards a 
attention resolution with these things or be a man who completely is like, you know what? I am a man that deserves to be someone that speaks truth. I am a man that deserves to have women around me who can trust me. I'm a, I'm a man who deserves to have women who are feminine around me, who really are giving me their energy when they're around me. I'm a man who deserves that. You literally have these two routes. And many men are a lot of times walking this safe route of being too nice because it's like, I don't want to be the masculine man because if I do that, then it means that I'm going to have to really start to face the things I'm afraid of. You're right, man. But that's the beauty. What is life without facing the things you're afraid of? Ask yourself, what is life really like without facing the things you're afraid of? For me, my journey hasn't always been this thing where I'm just always facing my fears. No, I used to be incredibly afraid. Incredibly afraid of many different things that right now I'm not afraid of. Because I had to come to terms with them. Some of my strongest insecurities, some of the strongest fears that I've ever had in my life, I had to just go, I'm tired of this. You have to get tired of the things you're afraid of. You must get tired of it. If you never get tired of it, mean like if you always allow it to be a thing that's in your life and that's running you, you will always be a man with an excuse. And these are the worst men on earth, men who have excuses, who live by excuse. And they have the excuse as a thing, and it's, and it's so strong that they have all these beliefs around it that, that really hold it up. And the, 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 the scare of letting that go will completely ruin the entire reality. So if you really want to be a man who completely is able to take control of his life, who completely is able to let go of the things he's afraid of, I need for you to step into this place called the unknown. I need for you to let go of the things that you want to hold on to, these cushiony things that you want to just hold on to for dear life, and step over into the side of what it means to be a man that's attractive. You literally have the choice in your life to be a man that's completely attractive and masculine is able to pull the uh, feminine out of women or you're the man that's too nice and you pull out the part of women that's actually masculine because you, when you're being too nice, you're playing out a very leafy, all over the place behavior which is the feminine behavior. And as you play out that behavior, she gets very disgusted by it because it forces her to go into her masculine so she has to pick up where you fucking are not being strong enough. Be the masculine for women. Stop being so nice. Walk up to women, allow yourself to really let go of the fear that's right now holding you back. And this is a journey. It's not gonna be me just telling you this and you're going, that is just call action. And if you really wanna get this handle, I mean really wanna get this handle, and the way that I'm talking about, come to a live training with us. Come to, I'm going to Australia. And in and, uh, and January, I'll be in Australia. All, you, all, you, all my Australian fans, I'll be there next month. And uh, if you want to do coaching with me, you know what hit me at. Go to naturallifestyles.com, go to the contact page, put in an inquiry. Or with, with, with another thing that you can do is next year, I'll be coming out with that beautiful product. And you can get that coming in May. And up until then, I want you guys to... Subscribe below to Essence of Solo because I'm out of here because my feet are fucking freezing. I love you guys. See ya.